Let's talk about now that Aaron Rodgers is coming back to Green Bay. We have a huge trade between the Seahawks and the Broncos still pending at this point when we recorded this. Uh, Russell Wilson has to approve this trade for all this to go through. But Russ Wilson heading to Denver where well, they have not had a good quarterback since yeah. this, this time. <laughs> it's been yeah. Super Bowl 50 since the last time Peyton Manning kind of laced it up. Uh, they're they're Whoa. in Denver, so yeah. um, they've had a they've had eleven starting quarterbacks since 2016. I mean, they have had n- kind of a nothing at the yeah, quarterback. I mean, position. you're talking John Elway's uh, history of drafting tall white quarterbacks has not been great so far. The Brock Osweilers, the Paxton Lynches, you know, now you got you know the the Drew Locks, and they're bringing in uh, something different. And you know, if, if you're Russell, it's first on the Russell Wilson side. If you're going to Denver. You got to be really excited about what they have there because they not only have developed this nice run yeah. game, um, they've got, you know, I mean, Melvin Gordon is a nice piece, but Javante Williams uh, really came through last year. And then you add in a great receiving core with Cortland Sutton. Tim Patrick came on really nicely and a defense that's going to keep your offense off the field. And I think that's something that Seattle lost over the last couple of years was Russell Wilson was out there. It seemed like he had to be out there most of the game because the defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. <laughs> and now he's going somewhere. Exactly. They couldn't block either. There right? Let's put that out there. Much they, better O line. We all know when you're in the when you're in the God. NFC West, there's it's hard to block, right? So although he hasn't approved the trade by the time we've done our little podcast here, I assume he will just because he's going to get a, a lot more weapons. No way Melvin no. Gordon comes back. There's no way they resign him. I think they move forward um, with the guy out of UNC. Um, and then you got, I mean. Um, it was funny because Jared Judy tweeted when the Aaron Rodgers thing happened, a little like smirk emoji. It's almost like he kind of yeah. knew. Um, that's fine. <laughs> We're going to get yeah, Russell I mean, Judy, a, a tough year last year, banged up, didn't really get to play a whole lot. But now you upgrade from a guy in Drew Locke who uh, reports our Drew Locke in that trade deal is heading back to Seattle. So that'll be interesting whether Drew Locke yeah. is a piece that they're using um, as a, a player moving forward or if they're going to try to move him. Um, but, you know, for Denver, they immediately become better. Of course, they've got the tough deal of, murderers road division you've got justin herbert and the chargers you got kansas city and patrick mahomes and you got a raiders team that has a lot of young talent and boy i'll tell you this guy that raiders team fought really hard last year through one of the worst off the field seasons i've ever seen but russell's used to a murderers road division i mean he was in the nfc west well i think i think the defense is now the offense is in that division oh man <laughs> it's amazing by the way the chargers just re-signed Mike Williams out of Clemson. So he's coming back uh, to help Herbert out there who had a, you know, a little $60 yeah. million, dollars, no big deal there for Mike Williams. So tip the cap to him, but I, the, none of the, the defenses don't scare you uh, like in the NFC yeah. West. Right. I mean, the, the Cardinals are always jazzed up the Rams. Of course, I don't need to tell you anything about what they can do. Even if Aaron Donald doesn't come back, I think they're going to be strong, but what does this do for Denver? Does this, I know, we're saying this is a tough division, but are they a Super Bowl They're certainly a division contender. I mean, again, the AFC is so tough because all these quarterbacks are so young. Um, you know, her, I mean, listen, we saw the Chargers miss the playoffs on the last day of the season this year. So we didn't even get to see them fight it out. You got a, a team in Cincinnati is going to be coming back. You've got, of course, got to fight through Kansas City in your division. But it certainly makes them a lot better. It certainly gives Russell Wilson a new look on the offense. And on the flip side, Scott, Seattle, I mean, in this reported trade is getting Drew Locke. They're getting the young tight end, Noah Fant. They're getting Shelby Harris on the D-line, two first, two seconds, and a fifth-round pick. I mean, that's a it's haul a lot. for a team a, that, by the way— It's a dumb truck I, I kind mean, again, of trade. Listen, Russell Wilson is great, but let's not forget, this is a team that has DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett out there at wide receiver. They've got some pieces offensively. Rashard Penny, by the way, came out of nowhere. We thought he was kind of dead in the water. In the last couple of games last year, he looked good. He saved my he saved my fantasy. Yeah, and he season. ruined mine, so I appreciate that. Um, you know, <laughs> they get a ton out of this. And for a team, I mean, again, quarterback is a question mark, but for a team that needs some cornerbacks, that needs, you know, maybe some wide receivers to pick up, because Lockett might not be there much longer, some offensive line help, picking up that draft capital is massive for them. 